1919 City Council. Our first item of business is the uh, invocation. Pastor James Jones with the City Church is here. And Pastor, if you will, come lead us in the invocation. And, there, and then we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would please stand. Thank you. Thank you for doing here. this, sir. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Adam. <laughs> Um, let's pray. Barrios. Father, we just thank you for um, just another opportunity just to um, gather of the minds. Um, God, I just pray over this meeting tonight. God, I pray and ask that everything that is said and done, God, is spoken through wisdom. Um, God, I pray that you um, allow us to be able to meet as stakeholders, to be able to implement um, things that will be beneficial for these in your community. Um, God, I pray for um, all of the individuals that make timeless sacrifices um, in order to um, see the city of Goldsboro prosper. Um, God, we give you glory, honor, and praise in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll have our roll call. Here. 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 Present. Yep. Uh, Council Member Acock is out of town and not present tonight. Next, we have our approval of minutes of the regular meeting of June 17, 2019. Move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed, likewise. The minutes are approved. Presentations, we have none. Next, we have public comment period. Anybody from the audience can speak for up to three minutes. We're gonna, uh, just the main thing is, we're not doing electioneering or politicking or anything like that. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I just wanted to mention from the meeting, um, the work session meeting, that agenda, uh, consent agenda item number six, and I just went back and looked. Uh, yes, the human resource director, uh, brought something to you about uh, policy as far as sexual harassment on the 6th, but on the 19th is when she brought in the revision for the anti-harassment. That's when Councilman Williams brought forth to her a uh, actual statute, statute that mentioned how it should be handled. So when she just mentioned that it was a 30-day period, it is, today is the 9th of September, so on the 19th, and if I need to show you on my mobile phone, the actual agenda item from your August 19th meeting, which is the one in which he showed her the policy. So I'm not sure how it was 30 days. So I am going to, as a citizen, ask you all that you definitely take this off the consent agenda item for today because that is not correct. 30 days has not happened. And I also, as a citizen, agree with Councilman Williams that it would be best if we waited until after elections. But even if you choose not to do it after elections, I would think that ensuring transparency, which is what I keep being told that you guys um, have as one of your major um, goals and strategies, I would ask that you allow 30 days to take place. And then also not only allow 30 days to take place, but once the 30 days take place, then you should actually take the time and look at the information that's gathered, because that was a quick turnaround from August 19th, which is when he actually mentioned to her that he had something that said every employee should see it. Thank you, ma'am. Are, are you finished? I am. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Would anybody else like to speak? Anybody else in the audience like to speak? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Members of council. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I usually have something to say about the cleanliness of the city. Mm -hmm. However, I saw, observed something Saturday evening that was extremely dangerous that happened here in the city. I don't know how much, how much control you have over the trains that move along Royal Avenue, but a train came by Royal <coughs> Avenue moving extremely slow and it was extremely long. Uh, I tried to turn it at um, uh, Madison Avenue, I mean, I'm sorry, Jefferson, uh, but the train beat me to the light. So I went down to Herman to make the turn there, and the train was so long that I turned my engine off just to sit there. The dangerous thing was that if there an emergency had happened anywhere near there with the, the first, first responders that are all near that, that, that uh, area of the city, they would not have been able to make it. That train, I would be willing to wager, the head of that train 
uh, was a mile past Berkeley Boulevard before the end came at Herman for the allowed me to turn. It was extremely slow and extremely long. Uh, it was so dangerous that uh, a, a westbound car on Royal left the westbound lane and got into the eastbound lane to, to, make, a, to make a move, forcing, east, forcing westbound, I'm sorry, uh, eastbound travelers to leave the highway. I'm not sure how, dangerous, how much important it was for her to make that move. And when she did it, three or four other cars followed her. Extremely dangerous. I have no idea how much control you have over those trains, but that was extremely dangerous. Thank you, sir. Would anybody Thank else you, like, sir. Anybody else like to speak? Anybody else? Seeing none, we'll close the public comment, and we'll move to the consent agenda. Sir, consent agenda items B through L, with the exception of G and K, are forwarded for your consideration. Uh, I, I would like to make a motion to remove item C. Second. There's been a motion and a second to remove item C. All those in favor raise your right hand. Opposed likewise. Item C stays on. All right. Now we have, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda minus items G and K? Motion to approve the consent agenda, agenda items B through L with exception of G and K. Is Sir. there a second? Any discussion? Roll call. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. No. Yes. All right. The consent agenda is approved. Next, we have items uh, in in requiring individual action. We'll do item G first. And all of these have already been presented to anybody that's here. Uh, they were presented at the 5 o'clock meeting. Item G is a to correct a state of unit of measurement for the fiscal 1819 and 1920 water rates. It's really just a clerical area, a clerical fix to that. And the, what the motion was is that the council adopt an attached orders to correct the 1920 operating budget order, section 10A, to make a clerical correction to the written amount of industrial water customer annual use from 1 million 500,000 to 1 million to 150 million. So it was from 1 million 500 to 1 mil to 150 million was the change. Um, I, I, I think we need to put this off. I just spoke with Miss um, with the finance director. She's supposed to be giving me some information. Uh, we in, we shouldn't be in any rush to approve this. I mean, if we don't have any reason to be in a rush to approve it. So I would like to table it until our next um, meeting, I think on the, what's that day? 23rd. 23rd. Yes. Is there a motion? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor of your motion, raise your right hand. Opposed, likewise. All right, so the motion is tabled to our next meeting, passes. All right, then we got item uh, M, I'm sorry, item K, and item K, I'm going to read what the motion itself is because there again we've already been over all this. But the, the recommendation is that the council adopt the resolution to allow the sale of real property by electronic public auction as approved method for the sale of the city of Goldsboro. Secondly, it's recommended that the council adopt the attached resolution authorizing the use of electronic advertising only for the sale of surface and real property. And thirdly, it is recommended the council adopt the attached orders to allow for the increase in limit of disposable surplus property from $5,000 to $30,000. Those are the recommendations of the finance director. Is there a motion? Move to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed, likewise. Well, did, did you vote for surplus? Or you? I voted for it. Okay. The motion passes. Thank you, sir. All right, item M, there again was also discussed earlier. And um, basically, I'm gonna read through it a minute. And Jennifer, I screwed this up, you, you let me know. This is a 14 lot plenary subdivision plant. And what had happened is, is the planning commission made a modification of sidewalk construction along North Carolina Street and Hooks River Road. They were re gonna require the developer to pay the fee in lieu for sidewalk construction of $28,818. They modified, we have a city policy that says anywhere in the city, if you're, with, if you're with a thousand feet of sewer and you're gonna develop, you have to hook to our sewer. That's a policy that we have. They modified the policy to say that the, the requirement to connect the city sewer with new developments was, was acceptable. They modified that so they did not have to do that. 
staff has since talked to them, and I, I think the majority <coughs> of the staff felt like that connecting the sewer is more important than the fee and lieu on the sidewalk, and the developers agreed to connect the sewer if the staff or the city <coughs> would, would waive the fee and lieu. Did I say that correctly? So the motion would be to require them to connect the sewer and to release them from the fee in lieu of 28818 for sidewalk. Is there a motion? Move to adopt. Second. Any, any discussion? All yes. Um, in District 1, we need sidewalks, and I don't think that we should be um, making compromises when it comes to sidewalks. Okay. Any other comments? All, right, all in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. Opposed, likewise. Motion carries. All right. So that is all of our items uh, requiring individual action. Next, we have an item N, which is Constitution Week, which I'm going to read real quick. Constitution Week Proclamation. We're at September 17, 2019, marks the 232nd anniversary of the drafting of the Constitution of the United States of America by the Constitutional Convention. It is fitting and proper to officially recognize this magnificent document and the anniversary of its creation as well as the patriotic celebrations which will comm commemorate the occasion. Public Law 915 guarantees the issuing of a proclamation each year by the President of the United States of America, designating September 17th through 23rd as Constitution Week. The David Williams chapter of the Dogs of the American Revolution does hereby acknowledge and commemorate the official recognition being given to this magnificent document on its anniversary and to the patriotic celebrations which will be observed during Constitution Week. Therefore, I check out and may the city of Goldsboro, North Carolina, to hereby proclaim the week of September 17th through 23rd as Constitution Week in Goldsboro, North Carolina. And I ask that our citizens reaffirm the ideals that the framers of the Constitution had in 1787 by vigilantly protecting the freedoms guaranteed to us through discarding of our liberties, remembering that lost rights may never be regained. And so that's the proclamation. We'll go with council member comments. We'll co council member Williams. Um, <clears throat> we lost a, a young man, Juju um, Suggs, and um, I just send my heart felt um, <coughs> sorrows when it comes to the, the family. I mean, we nine years old, I believe, drowned. You know, I just feel so bad for the family, and we're here for them. Um, there's a website, um, a Facebook site, um, to help with his um, burial expenses. So, um, if you go on, if you look at, look on Facebook, um, please help out as much as you can. Thank you. All right, Councilman Boyd. Well, I think we should all be happy that we uh, dodged a real bullet with this hurricane. But I'd like to congratulate our first responders, our police, our fire, and most of all those people that set up that joint operations center and also had the shelters going. Um, we're learning, but we're learning hard lessons. And uh, maybe, uh, but I would like to congratulate all of those people. That's all I have, sir. All right. Councilmember Ham. I'll uh, also say that uh, our city employees should be commended for their response to and, uh, and diligent uh, station on duty throughout the hurricane. Uh, as as uh, has been said, it wasn't as <coughs> disastrous as we expected or could have been, but our people were uh, prepared better this time and their attitudes were very positive. I also want to commend our new city manager for hastily putting together a very detailed and com comprehensive operations of order policy uh, for our staff that uh, we didn't have before. and. Uh, it was very well written. It was uh, given to the uh, staff, so every staff, and I also had input, by the way, every staff in every department knew exactly what their responsibilities were during this, and uh, needs to be uh, commended for that. Councilman Foster? Um, I had something that I wanted to address, but I'm going to wait until Councilman Acock is here to address it. Okay. So we'll address it next meeting. Nothing else? Yeah. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Manager, I know you thought I forgot you, but I didn't. I was just coming back. To I you. just wanted to thank uh, our city staff, too, sir, working with Wayne County, uh, all the emergency response personnel. The fire department responded to 19 calls, police department 13 calls, and there's ongoing cleanup efforts from the public works department. They're working very hard. Uh, department of Social Services did a great job at Carver Heights Elementary School. So 
Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh, just following up on what's already been said, I too want to thank everybody, the city staff, the county staff, all our first responders. They did a great job. Unfortunately, I think as a city, a county, and as all, we're getting too good at this emergency preparedness because it seems to be coming too often. But we really were ready. We're probably better ready this time than I've ever seen us. So just thanks to everybody. Thanks to the citizens who really worked with us and, and heeded the warnings. They really did good. As Councilmember Williams said, we did lose a nine-year-old. I don't. I can't even put in words how sad that is for our city, for for the family. I do want the family to know that our thoughts and prayers are with them. I got an update earlier today. Sounds like he really didn't put up a fight, but I just I, words can't can't fix this. So I do want to just let them know that I, all of us and all the city are with them, and any way we can help the family, we're here to do that. Uh, with that, uh, I guess we stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Any closed sessions? Sir?